Hello, it's Sven, Microsoft Sven, and today, I will be attempting to win 1 million pounds on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on the DVD player in preparation for Season 2 of Looney Tunes intro bloopers. But before I do, I want Chris Tarrant to explain on how to play this game, because I never knew how to play Millionaire on the DVD player but I have seen the game show itself. According to episodes from 1998 to the current one that Geraint has uploaded recently. So, let's go through the tutorial now. So, how do you play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on your DVD player? Well, take a look at your remote control. Now, just look at all the buttons on this thing. But don't worry, you don't need most of them. It's actually incredibly simple. All you need is left, right, up, down and enter. And if for any reason you're getting a bit of a pickle and you want to return to the main menu, then you just press the menu button. Couldn't be simpler. All you have to worry about is getting the answers right. And there is, of course, an added incentive to getting closer to a million. The further up the money ladder you get, the more you see of me. Poor you. Right, let's return to the main menu. Then you just choose play and you'll be put in the hot seat to answer those 15 questions. Good luck and enjoy playing. Who wants to be a millionaire? All right, here we are back on the title screen of this game. We went through the instructions. So now, let's go for the million pound jackpot. Right, now you're in the hot seat. Let's just go over the rules. They're the same as always. You are now just 15 correct answers away from winning a virtual million pounds and the possibility of some fantastic prizes. Now, as always, you can walk away at any time, but if you do get stuck, you have the usual three lifelines. You've got 50-50, you can phone a friend, or, of course, you can ask the audience. OK, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Question number one is worth £100. Here it comes. OK, question one. By what nickname was Martha Jane Cannery known? Hmm. I don't have the foggiest idea, but however I will take a gamble and go for C. Oh dear, you selected the wrong answer. What? That was the wrong answer. Well, you've come unstuck, I'm afraid, immediately and incredibly, you don't win anything. Crap. I go home empty-handed. Oh well, hopefully I get to win a million next game. Let's do it again. Right, 15 questions to win a million. Here we go. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Question number one is worth £100. Here it comes. Which of these names is one of the most northerly points of mainland Scotland? Oh my word, I don't even have a clue with this one. So, I guess I will have to go with A, perhaps. Oh dear, you selected the wrong answer. Oh my flipping god. Not another wrong answer. Well, you've come this is unstuck, becoming a bad day for me. And incredibly, you don't win anything. Come on. Give a broke man a bit of mercy to get up to at least 1,000 pounds or 32,000 pounds. Okay, let's play again. And you want to play for a million pounds? Yes, I thought you might. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? OK, here we go. Now, this is question number one for 100 pounds. What links a musical and the device where your luggage appears at the airport? Oh, that's easy. It has to be cats, surely. Oh dear, you selected the wrong answer. Huh? Well, you've come unstuck, I'm afraid, immediately and incredibly, you don't win How is that anything. possibly wrong? I thought it was cats, but no, it was carousel. This isn't Skimble Shanks. Remember that reference in Looney Tunes intro bloopers 5? Let me know in the comments below, if you do. Anyways. Let's try right, to get big questions money this win time. A million. Here we go. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Right, number one for £100. Here it is. 
whose flying circus was a TV comedy series. That is very easy. I've definitely seen this, so it's Monty Python's. Very good, no problem at all. Finally. 100 pounds in my bank. Hallelujah. Okay, question number two for 200 pounds. Let's have a look. In the abbreviation AGM, for a special meaning, what does the G stand for? Okay, this is getting a bit complex. I don't think it's gross, so I think I'll go for gathering. I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. How is that actually general? Well, thanks for playing, but I'm afraid you go away with absolutely nothing. Oh my flipping god, oh my flipping god, oh my flipping god, oh my flipping god. I keep doing absolutely nothing. Well, I hope to win a million this time. You have 15 questions and three lifelines. Lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Right, number one for £100. Here it is. What is a male duck called? Ah, yes, it's a drake, but not the drake from the game Uncharted. That's the right answer. I knew it. Have a look at this. It's worth 200 quid. What might you be said to flog if you are wasting your time? Um, I don't have a clue, so I'll ask the audience. Okay, you decided to ask the audience. Audience, if you're ready, no pressure. Right, let's all help out. All vote now. Quite a promising result from C, so I guess I'll go for it. Well done, you selected the right answer. Well done, audience. That saved me from danger. Okay, you got 200 quid. Here's question three for 300. Which of these languages is spoken in the Highlands of Scotland? Easy again, it's Gaelic. Well, basically, Congratulations, it's what that's you speak the right in the Highlands answer. of Scotland. Trust me. Question four of 15 coming up. You're doing fine. Now take your time. Have a look at this for 500 pounds. What is the slang word for an old shilling? Um, I don't know. I know it won't be Sam because I am Sam. I'll phone a friend. OK, let's phone a friend. Now, who do you think might be able to help you get past this one? All right, who should I phone? It's technically difficult to phone someone who doesn't know, but one thing's for sure I don't have to take their answer. OK, I'll give Wayne a ring now. Hello? Ooh, I'd guess B. But to be honest, I don't know much about it. OK, thanks. I'll take your answer. Bye. Well played. It's the right answer. That pretty much worked. Right, you've got 500 quid. Let's try and double it up to 1,000. Question number five. Here it comes. Are you not sure? Or have you lost the remote? No, I haven't lost my remote at all. Which of these is a marine invertebrate? No idea. I guess I'll have to go 50-50. Right, we need a bit of help here. Computer, take a couple of the options away and hopefully make things a bit easier. OK, so we're left with A and B. But the question is, what should I go for? Probably A, because it's my own gut instinct. Oh, I really feel for you there. That's the wrong answer. Oh, my flipping God. Well, you were on the verge of a guaranteed thousand, but I'm afraid you now go home with nothing. How could I possibly fail to get a grand? If I get absolutely nothing again, I will most definitely throw a tantrum. 
Okay, let's do it one more time. And you want to play for a million pounds? Yes, I thought you might. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Okay, here we go. Now, this is question number one for 100 pounds. Where are objects of historical, scientific, or cultural interest exhibited? Well done. Very you selected the idiot. right answer. It's none other than a museum. Here's question two for 200. Which television company takes its name from two rivers in its area? Aha! It has to be Time Tease. I saw its logo on Logopedia. Who thinks Air Ain't should include it on Looney Tunes intro bloopers 15? Please suggest It's absolutely correct. Well done. So far, so good. Now take a look at this for 300 quid. What is the name of the administrative center of the Russian government? I don't know. Leave it to the audience. They'll know. Okay, now you've decided to ask the audience. Audience, if you're ready, no pressure. Let's help out here. Very strong result on C. So I take it I'll go for it. That's the right answer. After a strong result, I literally got it right. Hey. Question four of 15 coming up. You're doing fine. Now take your time. Have a look at this for 500 pounds. Which of these is a fur hat worn by certain regiments of the British Army? Oh, it's so apparent. It's a mess, so I say me. Oh dear, you selected the wrong answer. Well, this could happen to anyone, but I'm afraid you walk away with absolutely nothing. Take it easy, Sam. Open your mind. You know you didn't deserve to win nothing. Remain. Come. Oh no. Tantrum in five, four, three, two, one. No, 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 dang, 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 crumb, 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 I gambled one too many times, but all I ever get is absolutely nothing, I wish I had one million pounds sooner or later, I broke you, hear me, broke, 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 Gee, that tantrum felt great. And I guess that's it for my gameplay on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Thanks for watching, please leave a like, comment and subscribe for the latest in Gary and Lewis Enterprises and content. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Gary and Lewis Video Game Productions and the newly renovated Mine Masters for Awesome Minecraft content. Also, you can find Gary and on Facebook and Twitter, their links are in the description of this video. And watch out for the season 2 premiere of Looney Tunes intro bloopers which is due to come sometime this week or possibly later. Thank you so much for watching, it's Sam, Microsoft Sam, and this has been Microsoft Sam Plays Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Goodbye for now.